What's going on you guys? Today we got some goodies here from my Traxxas slash 4x4. We got some big Traxxas uh, 2.8 tires or rims. Um, and in anticipation for those bigger tires or rims, I went ahead and ordered some um, steel dry shafts. I think G-Max is the company that makes them. Uh, also we ordered some aluminum uh, shock caps. And then on the, our first run, we were having some, some temp issues, some heat issues. Uh, I think it, the, by the time I got my, my temp gun, it read, which was like, it, the truck had like five minutes to, to kind of cool down and it was in the shade. Uh, I think it read like 168 degrees. So we went ahead and ordered um, a fan for the ESC, then also a dual fan set up for the, for the motor to help kind of control those temps a little better. Um, what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you uh, a little slide of, of the part numbers and each part that I got from the truck to give you guys a little, little better uh, idea of what parts we got. All right, the first thing up I, we got to show you guys is the, the Traxxas 2.8 uh, tire, chrome tires and wheels. The Traxxas part number on them is 3668A. Next up, in anticipation for those big 2.8 tires, I went ahead and splurged on a set of steel dry shafts. They're made by G-Max. Um, they actually look pretty tough, pretty rugged. They feel pretty solid too. They got some good weight to them. But these are the first things we're going to install here since the I ended up breaking the passenger side front, uh, the drive shaft yoke sheared up on a sheared off on us last time we were out. So those are going to be the first to get replaced. All right, and also we got some aluminum shock caps. Cause I know everyone was saying they had trouble popping those plastic ones off. So with the bigger tires and the little, the little extra weight, I figure we're definitely going to have problems with that in the future. So I went ahead and bought the aluminum uh, shock caps. And they're, the part number is TRA3767A from Traxxas. With our cooling issues, but a Traxxas cooling fan for the, the ESC, the single fan, and then we also got the from Power Hobby, their double cooling fan set up for the motor. The motor was getting pretty hot. Um, I believe when I tested it, I didn't test it right after it sat for about five minutes. And I believe it was 168 degrees. So right when I stopped running, it's not unreasonable to think it was probably over 170 pretty easy. Uh, but it had time, a good amount of time to rest in the shade, so it, it cooled down before I actually got my temp gun. So we're gonna put those fans on it, see if it runs a little cooler, and uh, hopefully it keeps it cool enough, especially since we're putting those bigger tires. Um, we're gonna put the tires on, run it. If I think it's geared a little too high, it's getting a little too hot, we're gonna go ahead and gear it down. Um, but I'm not gonna do that yet until we run it and see what we got. All right, we just got everything finished up here. Man, I have to say, I really like the way this, this thing looks. It, it just looks awesome now. Uh, we got the, I still got a couple more things I need to do. I'm going to do a little bit of fender trimming because I am going to have uh, some rubbing issues when the, when the suspension compresses. Um, also, I need to do a Y connector so I can run both the ESC fan and the motor fan. Um, I'm going to do that shortly here because we're going to see what kind of uh, running videos we can get with this thing. I didn't, didn't bore you guys with the step-by-step on how to install everything because it's, it's pretty basic stuff so I didn't want to bore you guys with that. We'll go ahead and show you how everything looks. Man it just looks it does look pretty awesome. You see the the steel dry shafts front and rear and we also put the aluminum shock caps and then uh, also both the fans on the ESC and the motor. And you see that I don't got the motor motor fans hooked up yet. I got to do that Y connector. But all right, we're going to see what kind of running videos we get with this thing. I do have some 
a battery extension mount coming in because I'm going to run some bigger 3S uh, lipos in it. But alright you guys, if as always if you like my videos please like and subscribe.